Hello, my name is Eduardo, um, today I am here with another Scratch tutorial. Okay, if you remember in the last tutorial for Scratch, okay, we were making like a platformer, okay, and I show you how to move this guy from left to right, and, and I show you how to jump with the character. Now, today we are going to animate a very simple walking cycle with this uh, uh, knight. So, if everything goes okay, we are going to have something like this. Okay, we have here our knight now with a very simple walking cycle. Okay, well, that is for this tutorial. So, let's start with the video. Ah, well, we are here now in our project, in the original project. So now we're going to start with this, but before we make the walking cycle, we have to investigate a little bit. I was looking for some images about walking cycle, okay? But I look for walking cycle, um, a pretty basic form that it was, um, I look for walking cycle, eight bits, okay? So something very simple, okay? And I found an image that it was like not very complicated because I don't want to have too many uh, frames, something like that. I was looking for something like this, okay? And I found this image. If you check, we have only four frames. Now, before we continue with App Inventor, uh, with Scratch, sorry, so we have checked here, we have our character. We have here like the left uh, leg. Um, <clears throat> so you have here like, as, uh, as I told you here, the left leg, the right. Now if you check, we have this, uh, the idea is that when you have something that it's um, not very close from the camera or from the view or the viewer, okay, you have it with a darker color. So this is like, lighter color but anyway you have this frame then you have this frame then you have this frame and finally you have this one that it's pretty similar to this one okay so basically that is the idea with this um uh, walking cycle so i'm going to use this one or i use this one for the thing that i show you at the beginning of the video so Let's have this, okay, and let's start working with our knight. The first thing is just to get the sprites, and then we're going to go with the blocks, the blocks, that, that is the easy uh, part, okay? So, so, let's take our knight. First thing we have here, we have to go to customs, and then we have here the original position, and then we have the jumping position. Okay, so the first thing that I recommend you do is to maximize a little bit this thing, and then we're going to go here to rename this. Let's call this night standing. Okay, so this is like night standing, then night jumping. And then we're going to create another one based on this one. So you click on this one. Okay, first you press or hold shift and then with left mouse button, you just duplicate it. Here we have a copy of this file, uh, of this uh, image or vector. Then we're going to rename and let's call it night walking one. That's it. Okay, so now, if you check, okay, well, you have it on the screen, this kind of uh, image. So let me check if I can make it bigger. We're going to work with, I guess, with this one. 
okay so with the frame that it's on the left yes so I guess that it's this one I don't know if it's visible well now so I go here and I touch um, my night and then I try to check everything okay so if you check everything is lie on group if you haven't like that it's pretty probably because you have it like this okay so you have it group so you have your night so you just on group so you have different parts okay so now let's do the first thing if you check the image okay uh it is like open this thing it is more like here well in this case check i want to move the space uh, this uh, the sword and the arm so we under the uh, under sorry so then we use a uh, shift we hold shift then we just use the left click and we have these two things selected so like that then we just rotate it and that's it now if you check the other arm it is going back so we select this one we move it a little bit and we just try to uh, make it look like it is okay so then we just move again with shift to select both that's it now for the legs check we have we have to decide which one is the right one and which one is the left okay so i guess this one it is the left so this one it is quite okay so we can move it a little bit just to make it look like in uh, the picture obviously it, it depends on the image that you selected if this has the uh, enough parts now we just click this one like this so now check this is the one that is in the back so maybe i just uh, got it wrong so it is like this one here and this one here because of the color in the picture that we just got okay so we can drag also a line just to set the ground the imaginary ground then we are going to delete it so we just move it a little bit probably something like this it's okay so we adjust this thing this is the one that is uh, in front and the other one is the one that it's back okay so something like that i guess that's okay this one a little bit up now we are going to do something similar to this we are going to change the color to make it a little bit darker so to do that we are going to select here this block for the colors now we are going to use this one to pick up the color the normal color and then we have it here then we are going to drag this slider down just to darker this color just a little bit because these are not pixels okay so it is not like super necessary and then we are going to make it bigger if you want and then with the bucket and the color that we select just carefully try to paint so if you see that this is not like very visible you just darken a little bit and that's it this is just to give this illusion okay also we are going to do the same for the arm at least for the visible parts be careful with the lines use undo here undo okay and that's it maybe it's too much maybe here 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 i guess that's okay so now um we see and then we have our first frame now there is something uh, else if you check uh, in the image we have like 
in this part, in this frame, okay, in this frame, the body is a little bit down because it is like the legs are open. So in this one, it's a they are a little bit up the level, okay? So we need to move a little bit the body up or all the body up, okay? So now let's try to make it. So remember that this is going to move quite fast, so it's not like to be super, super, super accurate. So now let's draw another line just for the head because we are going to duplicate this one. So probably here, here. So we are going to increase this thing, well, maybe here on the head. So now we have this frame and we have night walking one. Ah, also there is another thing that it's recommendable to have another line just to show that the night it is properly aligned. So based on this, okay, so that's it. So this is the frame number one. I guess it is quite okay. Probably this a little bit here, a little bit more rotated to make it more dramatic. Then we are going to go to create or duplicate this. So we can move the sword a little bit. Then we are going to press again hold shift and left click. Then we duplicate this one. You have walk night walking two. Now if you check, we can create uh, the other one. So you can create with this one, we're going to go the second frame, okay? So the second frame, if you check, this thing and the sword have to be almost aligned, something like this, I guess, yes. Then the other one either is like not very visible because it is going forward, so it doesn't matter a lot. And then this leg, the one that is in front, okay, so the one that is in the lighter color in the pixel thing, it is going forward, that it's this one. And the other one, it is light. So we're going to move this. Ah, and remember that we need to make it a uh, light going up. Then we go this one here. We just rotate this thing probably like this. And also we are going to move up everything. Everything that we can see, of course. No. Try to select. Let's try to select these things. So let's see if we can move them a little bit up. Yes, and then just the legs. Select, select, with shift, down. And this one probably a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. We just unselect both. Yeah. So now we check the other one. Okay, I guess quite look uh, okay. Now the other one, the third frame, it is similar to this one. Okay, so we're going to duplicate this one, night walking one. So, okay, so shift, hold shift, and then left click. Duplicate, and then we have walking cycle three based on the other one. So basically we're going to change uh, the legs, yes, of course. And uh, we're going to change this one going uh, back so over here something like that okay so just let move it here just to have some space to see and the other one it's going forward and this one and the sword hold shift remember to select multiple things it is like going up here and also it's going down okay everything is going down 
so that's why I just duplicate this one if you check here 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 now we just move the legs you can change the color of the legs okay uh, in that case but I guess we are going to use the same thing just to rotate this one now like this on this one just like this so watch out I guess this thing looks okay yeah I mean not perfect but quite good probably we move a little bit something I don't know that's it and finally we have the other one that is similar to this to the second frame so the last one so we are going to uh, hold shift then uh, left click duplicate and then we have this thing okay this frame so basically the idea it's uh, almost the same it is almost the same so now uh, in the pixel thing it is not very clear what it's happening with the legs but basically the idea is that the front leg is going back so this one is going back and probably this is like going forward I guess something like that not very clear okay so don't worry for that even the sword it is almost in the same position so you can modify some other things so um, I guess that's okay so now we have this basic thing walking cycle now we are going to remove just these lines then we go here you select and uh, the uh, supreme or delete be careful and we have our uh, walking cycle stuff it is important to rename your images always okay well I guess we are okay with that so I guess I can just hide this image okay and then we're going to continue with the funny part that it's the blocks for the blocks basically we are going to modify the left and right okay uh, events 